We have representatives of the uh, Humane Society with us today, and we have a couple animals. I know we had one. Oh, we've got a cat. Okay. Fluffy. All right. Fluffy's back there in her pink jacket. So we have jacket. Cookie. Right uh, Fluffy is the kitty kitty, and, and Cookie Doe is the pup pup. Cookie Doe. Now, this is a puppy. Yes. Now, uh, and I know this from doing past shows, uh, that this will have to be spayed before we... Uh, let her go, right? Yes, they are spay or neutered before they go. Do you keep them or do you let go with the with the family and then come back later when they're old enough? How's that Typically, work? Typically, um, once they're adopted, the following day they'll be spay or neutered and then they'll the um, new family will pick them up at the vet's office. So she could so. be neutered right now. Or well, spayed, not I'm here, sorry. but... I mean, yeah, <laughs> I mean, she could be spayed. Absolutely. Immediately. That's okay. Yes, uh-huh. Actually, okay, yeah. I believe she may already be spayed. Okay. So the... I always thought that there was an age that they had to be before. It's a weight. It? Okay. They have to be oh. over a pound. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And they recuperate pretty good. Yes, they do. Yeah. They're resilient when they're little babies. And this guy's got a story. A stray. Yeah. Look at that she face. Was yeah. Show him that face. A, she was now, a stray. A stray in Midway just walking a, a, along a the road. Oh, oh my around. gosh. Oh, really? Look at that face. Mm -hmm. And what kind, of, what kind of, there's different mixes in there. What Do you this know what this one This one we believe is a chow mix. Uh -huh. um, I can see the chow. Shepherd, she's probably going to be a little big. She's seven weeks now, so. A little big dog. Medium to large size uh -huh. dog, yeah. Okay. You said uh, a collie? You said I know. I think they have, they, they tagged you with a little shepherd. shepherd. Oh, shepherd. Yeah, okay. Shepherd. shepherd. Okay. But look at the disposition. But I'm they're sure. all oh. also she pretty. She likes to sleep. She likes to chew on little, little people <laughs> if she can. But she's got a, just a disposition that you just want to yeah. use your little doggy voice with all the time. And these are always great for Christmas, aren't they? Oh, the little puppies. Definitely. She's the gift that keeps on giving. She's got her little Christmas sweater. Yeah. Santa will be coming through and picking up probably quite a few. Mm -hmm. Well, Santa actually is going to come by the shelter on Saturday for a couple hours for pictures oh, okay. with pets. And um, it's going to be by donation that they can get some pictures taken their pets with Santa Claus. Oh, that's interesting. Now, when you adopt out uh, puppies, what are some things that people want to think of before? Because I know puppies are a lot different than full-grown dogs going into a home. They are. So what, what are some things with puppies? Well, you know, one of the things you, you, you recognize, one of some of the good things is you have an opportunity to develop the personality of this dog. They come in with certain traits, but depending on the family that gets into, the interaction they have, how much time you spend with them, whether they're an indoor dog, an outdoor dog, all those kind of things are molding the dog. Um, some of the other things, uh, as their puppy, of course, you're going to have to deal with the training of the mm -hmm. dog. The, mm -hmm. If they're an indoor dog, you want to make sure that they're, they're house trained. And it's going to take a little effort, but it's, it's, uh, you, you get so much enjoyment from having an animal. Anybody that's had a dog or a cat or anything they can cuddle, it, you get so much more than these <laughs> guys give. Mm. And have you started the obedience training with... This one's a little young for okay. the obedience training. Right. Um, they do get some obedience training at the shelter, um, hopefully before they get adopted, but we're pretty sure that Cookie Doe will be adopted before Scoot we have right a chance. Up. <laughs> I, I see a family in Cookie Doe's adventure. Yes, and the shelter for the first time is going to be open Christmas Day. Oh, really? The um, employees need to be there to take care of the animals, so they wanted to go oh, ahead okay. and open for a few hours, so if people wanted to Last minute gifts. adopt a puppy, and yeah. they could come and pick it up Christmas yeah, Day. Yeah, they could just oh, do it before. Cool. Yeah. So 12 to 4 on Christmas Day. Oh, that would be nice. And then with really Fluffy, nice. it, is she, how old is of a... Uh, Fluffy's a little bit older. She's 12 weeks. Yeah, she's 12 weeks. She's a, a Manx mix. She doesn't have a yeah, see that little doesn't have a little tail. She's a sweetie. She's got her harness on. And, and we've again. been sitting here, you know, in, in the studio, and she's been the most best behaved little kitty cat. She's not demanding. She's just very happy with her situation. Has she so. been purring <laughs> on your lap, Jennifer? Yeah, pretty much the whole entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, while, we're, while you have the microphone, talk about volunteering. You're a volunteer down there. Yes. Right? Tell us about your day and what you do and how other people can be volunteers. Well, pretty much my day is pretty good so far. Um, they have to sign up and get their, how do you say it? Opening stream? Yeah, that thing. They can volunteer for the cats or the dog. They can finish for the dog. You just go in there, walk them, stuff like that. And the cats, you just go in there, pet them, get their... Mitch. Socialized. Socialized. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
do you feed and clean the cages and all that or no, typically that's for the employees to okay mm -hmm. okay all right yeah volunteers are are just there to to do uh, light work the and big need is to get the dogs out and walk the dogs yeah. exercise okay. mm -hmm. everybody wants us talks about getting exercise right, it right. helps to lose weight get it come out to the humane society and walk a dog you there can you make go. a friend and Burn lose weight at the same time <laughs> yeah walk you got a little walking track there we yes. have beautiful the dogs. walking mm -hmm. trails, yeah. yes, and yeah. a little dog park. And they, those dogs just love it when you come to them with that leash. They know what's going to happen to them. That's amazing. They love to walk, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Now, these are babies, but we do have some adults that are already house trained. So we do have adult dogs also at the shelter. Okay. And this one, obviously, is not going to be quite ready for being house trained, but we do have some that are. Okay. Some great well, dogs in the shelter. That's what newspapers are for <laughs> in the beginning. Not the Baxter Bulletin, though. No. And, and the older dogs <laughs> do go under, uh, go through the obedience training or get started before they're adopted out? Yeah, and, typically okay. the older dogs, we try to get them in right away. We That's one of the things we also need volunteers for, is we need one volunteer for each dog in the training, and it's a class. And um, we do some circle training and sitting and get some of the basics mm -hmm. down. But we need the people to help us do it. We also need volunteers desperately in the thrift shop. I was going to talk about the thrift shop, yeah. Uh, Mary Jo is probably the better one to talk about the thrift okay. shop. Okay. I've, I've been with uh, Humane Society as a member and then as a, as a volunteer in the thrift store for a number of years. And we were all talking before the show about all these firsts. You found out about the Eagle Watch and the different yeah. things today. Well, I bet you there are some people who live in this community, who've lived in this community, don't know that there's a Humane Society, don't know that it's a no-kills facility, don't know that there's a f fabulous uh, uh, thrift store that's got everything from furniture to uh, uh, home appliances to I have bought clothes things there from for toys our yes. too, yeah. and and the list goes on we try to keep uh, the all the, the volunteer uh, things coming in and getting out as quickly as we can mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we do need more people to do that it's a it's a lot of work to uh, to go through the all the, the the toys and to clean them up and to try to get the electronic tools up, you can imagine some of the deals that are there. So people are sure. they get you know Absolutely. think of the electronics. Think how quickly those go sure. out of style. They go yeah. out of style. They've got a new gadget that might come our way, mm -hmm. and we're happy to sell it to anybody who. If I ever got into it. the video game business, I could buy something that was popular 20 years ago. Absolutely. And I would be in heaven. <laughs> Absolutely. That there, the Nintendo, those yeah. little packs. Yeah. Of, I sure. have to. Uh, I have to. Uh, try to find somebody that's a big gamer to help me out with them but I I know that they go out I try to get them out as quickly as possible yeah. because they get snatched yeah. up rather quickly yeah. and the yeah. prices are just you wouldn't find them any better now what how is it 201 you're yeah we're 201 about a mile past the lab okay. on the left hand side mm -hmm. and the the kennel is right below us a lot of people come in and they think they're coming to the to the uh, the kennel and they're actually at the thrift store so the first building you see with the marquee is going to be the thrift store, and there is a place to go at the end of the building for the um, the, volu the uh, things that you donate. Mm -hmm. We also have a truck that you can call for pickup. They'll oh. pick up uh, big appliances or furniture, and uh, we're happy to do that as well. And then the same road that you pull into, if you just look down that down that lane, down around back, that's yeah. our where our kennel area is. And I recommend going in there. You know, you you think dogs, cats are going to be the big smell. These people are so dedicated. I'm so mm -hmm. proud of what they do. It's clean. The facility mm -hmm. is just uh, well taken care of. The yeah. animals are in a comfortable spot. You know, yeah. they try to get them out into their pens every day, but mm -hmm. they, they, it's just amazing how hard they work to get the kind of results that they do. Well, if you're having having trouble checking off that uh, perfect gift for uh, one of the child children then this is this was probably what they'd really like to have oh yeah <laughs> or adult you know or adult, or yeah. adult. <laughs> we were talking about that too the seniors people yeah. who are living alone who maybe are in a situation mm -hmm. where they're they're just lonely and they need some sure. companionship it's it's a wonderful gift mm -hmm. to have them taking care of something besides themselves. Yeah, and, that, and you can find them that are house trained right. and acclimated to a, a slow lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. give us, uh, I know we've got your phone number up on the screen, but give us, for somebody that's in the other room that can't, that's not watching the TV screen, give, what's your phone number? Where Four, they can? 425-9221 is, the, uh, is the, the kennel. Okay. If they're interested in, a, in a, a, an animal. Website. 
and our website, okay. and that's where we, we're going to feature some of the animals that we have in okay. there, is H-S-N-C-A, I mean, that's our email, at centurytel.net. That's our, that's our um, email. Okay. www.humanesocietyofnorthcentralarkansas, which is N-C-A, so I'll repeat that. It's Society. O F of N C A North NCA. Central Arkansas dot NCA. org. Okay. All right. Good. So check out the the pets available for adoption. Check out the thrift store for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And take cookie dough home for Christmas. Take <laughs> cookie dough or fluffy yeah. or both. Yeah. And we'll be participating <laughs> like in, each the, other. in the Christmas parade as well. Yes, yeah. We will. So you yeah. might see some if you Watch see us down there, mm -hmm. you're yes. gonna be there, right, Karen? Yes. All right. We'll, we'll be wave there. to you. Yes, please do. And we'll have some and dogs. just ignore Dan yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> we might go over and let you pet a few. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you all very much for being here today. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank we'll you. have you come back on future shows. Love we'll to. Bring some more. Thank you. That's it for us. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Already. Thanks, Karen. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Welcome back, by the way. Missed you last time. I was, uh, I was in Houston. I was in Houston picking up a vehicle. Missouri, not Texas. No, Let's Texas. just clarify no, that. No, it was in Texas. Oh, was it really in it Texas? It was in Texas. Oh, I absolutely. It was I drove, yeah. Oh, well. I'll see. go anywhere for a deal. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We'll see you again next time.